Kingswood House has such a warmth and restorative feeling to it. But it's also this fantastic space to laze around and feel all that dappled light coming through from the trees behind and the timber battens. I'm Sally Wilson, Director of Arcaea Architects, and I was the Project Architect and Interior Designer for Kingswood House. Kingswood is a really leafy suburb, 10 minute drive south of the city. It's located amongst the beautiful cafe amenities of Unley and it's surrounded by wonderful schools. The street itself is lined with villas and 19th century dwellings. It has a real heritage overlay. The existing house is a 1905 heritage return veranda villa. It had a 70s addition at the rear, whilst it had some interesting moments in the ceiling it was starting to get a little bit tired. A client's, Matt and Kylie's brief was underlined by two core requests. Firstly, a house that could support a growing family. And secondly, a house that radiated warmth and had a real sense of home. I'm Kylie. And I'm Matt, and we're the owners of Kingswood House. So we bought the home on the basis of the lovely 1905 villa at the front of the block and the north facing rear where we could explore the landscape at the back. The idea of taking on a project of this scale without an architect never really struck us. Uh, we did renovate an old cottage in Forestville prior to this home and that cottage we used a draftsman and a builder whereas we just knew the scale of this project meant that we needed someone with a really creative mind to come up with something that would suit us and optimise the structure on the block. We never really considered tearing it all down. Um, the old extension always had to go, but the front of the house is actually heritage listed. So that front part of the house, um, at least the facade always had to remain, but we've changed the nature of the rooms, I guess, in the front part of the house to more suit what we wanted. We interviewed a number of architects actually and one of the things that stood out about Sally was that she was really interested in us as a family and how we wanted to use the space. And that was the thing that really made her stand out when we were choosing an architect. As the house was a contributory item, we were required but also wanted to preserve all of the original heritage facade. So we actually restored and rebuilt all of the front veranda and we completely reimagined all of the interior design and joinery. With a north facing site, it was really important for us to capture not only the sun, but the aspect to the landscape. We did that by not just framing views with the windows, but actually changing the whole shape of the windows to capture not only the sky, but the full height of the trees that we were planting. Something that was really important to us was that we wanted the space to be warm. We'd also spent a number of years living in homes where we just didn't want to spend a lot of time there. The spaces didn't work and they weren't places where we wanted to really just relax and hang out. And so part of what we wanted was a space we could just be in and, and enjoy spending the weekends without wanting to leave to do something else. We really spoke a lot about materials and textures and the interplay between those things to create a sense of home. Materials were selected for their durability. It was really important to Matt and Kylie that the house could withstand the hard knocks of growing children. One of my favourite examples of materials chosen for their durability is the timber lined pod. The kids race around tracing their fingers across the timber and it's just a part of their daily lives. Uh, we have a now seven-year-old daughter and a nine-year-old son who are rough on everything. And so it was important with things like the polished concrete, the wooden walls and the plywood upstairs in their room that those things really needed to be able to take some wear and tear. And the kids have loved living here. They do all sorts of things that we would probably rather they didn't. And the house is surviving. Whilst Matt and Carly's kids were only three and five years old when we started the design process, it was important to see how the house would grow with them. And you can see by how much they've grown already, how the spaces are nurturing the way that they've changed. I think one of the things that I've noticed over the two years we've been living in this house, uh, as it is, 
is that it really grows well with us. The different spaces are being used in different ways as the years go on. We have always spent a lot of time together as a family of four, but now Elliot in particular seems to sneak off to his room and sit at his desk and dream out the window. Uh, and that's a really nice thing. I would say that the benefits of using an architect are boundless, really, but I think that it's really important to find the right person. It's somebody that you're going to be spending a whole deal of time with over a period of years. And I think the relationship that you have with them and the communication that you can have with them is probably the most important thing. From the very first meeting with Matt and Kylie, we had this instant connection. And throughout the duration of the project, I'm lucky to say that we've become great friends. And one of the things I'm most proud of is the micro detailing of the project. I think I'm most proud of what we've created here. Absolutely, and I think this is a really beautiful home and I'm really proud of that. But it's also a family home. So if a bunch of kids come round after school, I don't have to be precious about them damaging anything in my home. I know it's virtually indestructible. And I really like that we've managed to marry those two ideas together so well.